Plus ones. It's really good. Promise. Hi, guys. Welcome back to Plus Ones, episode eight. Episode eight. That's actually, that's two months already. Yeah, that's a lot of time. That's hey, a lot sh- of time. shout out to everyone that's um that's like kind of been listening for, from the start because you know with these podcast things they can kind of be a little bit scary and daunting. Yeah. Because obviously with a podcast for it to work you need people to listen. And I was actually quite worried that no one would. Yeah, yeah, Teeks was, <laughs> yeah, was worried. Teeks was worried. But um no, nah, shout out to everyone that like you know listens to us on here or if you follow yeah. us on socials. Yeah. Um the. We appreciate it like a lot. So, yeah. so thank you guys so much. Oh, very grateful. And I don't know about you guys, but everyone was falling in love with Randy last week. <laughs> Am I right? Am I right? Look at the comments <laughs> there was on that. We, we posted <laughs> this clip from um, last week's episode of Randy talking about how he can't, can't wait to get married. Yeah. And I knew, I was like, it's, it's going to be game over for everyone as soon as we post this. It. It's going to be game over for every other guy in, in Auckland, every other guy in New Zealand. There was this one comment I started cracking up, and it was um, this woman had post, uh, commented, and I was like, but I'm in Australia with like sad emojis. Oh! <laughs> I mean, that's funny. That's funny. So, did you have any girls who you are? No, nah, I haven't. What about an ex or two? Nah. Nah. No. No. Oh, see, I, 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 knew, I, I knew it wasn't. I gonna, said, I, I was like, gonna there's going to be some girls in your DMs, or there might be an ex or, 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 or like one of your exes. How many exes you got? Two. So oh, I reckon one of them might hit you up. Nah. Oh, nah. One of them one of them uh I don't actually know what they're up to at all. Like right. like uh Yeah. Oh, it's just she, like quite a lot of times passed. Yeah, quite yeah. a lot of times passed and I just don't know I haven't seen her since. Like you crazy. don't even know if she's alive. Yeah. Um oh. and then uh my latest ex partner, I yeah. actually saw some of her friends on the weekend um yeah. and I asked how she was doing and they said that she was doing well. So um, I always said as long as she's doing well, then I'm happy, man. Oh, see guys, if you didn't fall in love with them last week, listen to that. Look how gracious <laughs> he's talking about the people from his past. That's so nice. So you had a good week. Yes, I had a, I actually had a great weekend, celebrated Father's Day on the weekend, oh. went to a bit of yum cha, you Hurry know. Up, papa. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was a good day. It was, it was a good day. I never really get to spend like proper time with my parents because I live uh, not at home yeah not at home yeah um, and I live a different li- clearly a different lifestyle to them yeah. so whenever I get the chance to like spend uh, what's what's the saying um, intentional time yep. with my parents mm. it's always good man I, yep. I love spending time with my parents yeah I did not spend Father's Day with my father but that's okay he but he was, lives out of Auckland right he lives out of Auckland but he was spending it at a place he probably enjoys more than me and my sister's company and <laughs> that is Hamden Downs <laughs> which is like a racetrack my uncle was racing cars so I think my dad was like pit crew or something yeah. Yes, to be fair though, it's yeah. it's like Father's Day, as in like okay. they, you can they, do they can do whatever, you want, whatever yeah, they can do whatever they want, you man. Do whatever you want, King. Yeah, no, I'm into. I we, I had a chilly weekend. This is my last weekend in New Zealand for a few weeks. Yeah. So I had to do admin. I repotted some plants. <laughs> I spent a hundred bucks at Mitre Ten. Dropped a hundred bucks like that. Damn, but money's it money. Me. Money's it money. Me. It killed me. But it was like it was like I mean, how often do you repot plants? You don't often mm. do it. So I and those pots, uh, those plants have been in that pot for longer than they should have been. Yeah. I had this big monstera plant, and we took it out, and the roots were so tangled, and like it was like suffocating in there. But she was okay. She's okay. So we've just um we've just repotted her. So we split her into two. So I had this one. It's she, she was good. her name's Big Bessie. Big Bessie. Big Bessie's <laughs> been split into two. So I might have it might be Big and Bessie now. And then, because uh, I got quite a few plants, my friend actually is fostering a few of them while I'm uh-huh. like in between homes at the moment. But I've got the ones that I named. I have Big Bessie, Piggy Goo, um, Ms. Camille Vasquez, and <laughs> I think I have another one too, but I can't think of it off the top of my head what I called it. But th- then I ended up getting way too many plants. I couldn't name them anymore. I was like, it was hard to keep track. Do you not get like um, worried or scared about like insects? No, because I've ne- I've never had insects in my house because of the plants. No. Oh no, sorry, because I've never owned plants before. No. Nah, and I just, no, asso- I just indoor, associate. I just indoor associate, plants are fine. Yeah, I just yeah. associate plants with like bugs. No, it's the way. No, plants in your house are good. It's good for the air, you know. It just makes it True. feel really calm. Yeah. My, my flatmate, she has um plants in her bathroom. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty normal. Lots of people do that. Why are you no, laughing? No, no, the first time I moved in, I, on it? No, that right? no, the first time I moved in, I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, is that not a normal thing? No, because at my parents' house, all the plants are outside. Oh, no, but you can have indoor plants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think Monstera is the easiest to look after, and they, they look the coolest too. That's why I have like four oh, of them. Oh, they're the ones with the big leaves. Big leaves, yeah. Ah, yeah. But they, yeah, I've got like four of them. But I've got a bunch of other plants that I got given one time like because I fought through work and I got a bit overwhelmed with all of them and because I couldn't keep track of how to look after each one. Everyone's on their, um, speaking of plants, everyone's on like their veggie garden like buzz recently. Yeah, oh, I've seen if I had a, a garden, lot I'd, of people. I'd do some veggies. Did you ever do it growing up? Nah. We were growing, we were growing taties. We were growing, uh, I think we had carrots. 
let us and then and when we got older like when I was um, like working in that my parents started doing that again and they would send me home with courgettes like the size of my head it was mean it was mean and letter yeah. heaps of really yum lettuce tomatoes they were making it all yeah I've been seeing like a lot of uh, social media TikToks about um, fucking people get into your gardening yeah man. yeah getting into, get into your gardening yeah game. getting into gardening and yeah. like uh, what is it like making whole foods and you know like oh, eating from their garden and stuff yeah like whole whole foods is a good one like even uh, uh, like trying to implement that even just a few days a week you your body just like you can feel the difference straight up yeah I really want to do a water um diet so it's like just a You're water fast water. a water no oh. a water fast sorry a water fast uh, one of my one of my friends she's Ah, I don't know how long she's into it. Oh no, she, no, she's broken it already. But I think yeah. she did seven days, just water, just water, and she lost so much weight, but like healthy weight because she was working out and, and doing I, everything normally. I, she was just drinking water though. I don't understand how people can work out hungry. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I can't work out hungry. Like I've been to the gym before and I haven't eaten and I just feel shit yeah. the whole time. And I'm not even like a hard out like trainer. Like I, I like I like moving. I like training. But like I do it more for the benefits of my health and obviously not getting fat. But you know, <laughs> and does that make me fat phobic? I don't know. But I just I don't I don't want to get overweight because I, I never feel good about myself yeah. whenever I do put on weight. Um, but yeah, like I can't understand how people like you see me at work. I have this big ass fucking lunchbox. Yeah, it's that like I bring a, to work. It's like a primary school lunchbox. Yeah, like so this morning I had they, they I got sent these like extra thin bagels. Got less calories than toast apparently. Not that there's anything wrong with calories or carbs or whatever. You need carbs to for energy. Um, like extra than bagels. I made some like scrambled egg, but I don't put any milk or anything in it. I just scramble the egg, slap that on. I've had a banana. I've had what else have I had? I've had some popcorn, like just the salted stuff though. And this is what stuff. you've eaten already. Yeah, but Shit. I've been at work since five, and it's right now. Like when we're recording this, it's ten forty-two in the morning. So I'm due lunch. So after we've finished recording this, I'll go have lunch. I've got two cans of tuna, some rice. I think I've got some I don't, um, seaweed and then I've got some like perinase or something to put on it. I don't eat till like midday. Fasting. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> now nah, because like. You, you start later though. It's yeah. different. Yeah. My theory is like I'd rather sleep than like eat breakfast. That's crazy. I'd rather eat breakfast. Uh, I just y- yesterday I had to get up early because my uh, boyfriend was dropping me off somewhere and I'll drop me off back home and I got like we got up at six. Hey, I ate some breakfast, did all that, had a shower, everything, went back home, and because I wasn't doing anything, then I went back to bed. Like, I like getting up, eating, and then going back to bed, because then I don't wake up starving. Today then. was the first day, actually, in a long, long time that I had breakfast. Yes. What'd you have? After the gym. Cheese on toast. Like, the place- Wow, wow nutritious and delicious. <laughs> like, the-, the uh, there's a place up here in Tamaki Makoto, it's called Cheese on Toast. Oh, no, okay, yeah. the place Cheese on Toast. No, place, okay. Cheese on Toast, yeah, I, was, yeah. I went there on the weekend. It's so good. It's um the what's it, the bacon jam one? Yeah, that one. My favorite is the rump steak. I haven't tried the rump steak yet. You would love a rump, wouldn't yeah. you? <laughs> you would love a rump. No, I um there yeah, and then I we tried their cookies in the weekend too. Mm. Oh my god, their caramel cookie! It'll change your life. Okay, cheese on toast. You know, I was going there like once a week. It was my little special treat, and it's a, it's like a place that you, they make really yummy toasties. And it was when it was when the guy said, "Do you want it take away again?" I was like, oh, no, nah, i got to go. got to go. I won't be coming here for another month. <laughs> I've come here too often. I've come here too often. Because there was one that was like opened up by my family house, which is in uh, like central Auckland, Mount yes. Roscoe. Yeah. And then now that I moved to the show, I was like, oh, it's too far. But then nah, they, there's one, there's there's one, one around Birkenhead, the corner. Man. Yeah, one around the corner. Yeah. Yeah. So there you go, Fano. It is a little bit of a change. She's a franchise. So there's a few of her around. There's a few of her around. But tell them, tell them we sent you. They'll yeah. go, who? <laughs> <laughs> who were they? But it was so young. That was that comes out after the gym every day. I'm like in my workout gear, and I'm like, can I have a toasty, please? <laughs> <laughs> uh, what What else did I do this weekend? Oh, I went to a pop up. Um, Shout out Porter James. Yeah, Porter James. Actually, I'm wearing right now the Porter Alfred knit. They did like a collab with Alfred's apartment, which is brand new. Money lately, Porter James. Yeah. How? Wait, I pre ordered those pants. The balloon the, the pants? pants? Yes, I cannot wait because my man's got them, and then his best mate got them, and they're like, take and get them, get them, and I kept humming and hiring. And then by the time I wanted to get them, I had to pre-order them. So I haven't got them yet, but I have bought them. Yeah. So I'm excited to get those. I think I've been looking, searching. I like people don't even know how hard it is when you. Oh, this is such a first world problem. Shut the fuck up. But basically, what I'm saying is, you know, when there's something you're trying to find. Yeah. Clothing wise, it's a staple you feel like you need in your wardrobe for work, play, whatever. You're like trying to find a staple, and it's so impossible. I have been trying to find the right fit of like black suit pants. Mm. I saw, you know, Troy who works at Subtype? Yes. 
She's gorgeous. She wore the most stunning pair of Cos black pants at a photo shoot we did once. And ever since I saw her, I've been trying to locate a pair of pants like that. But it's also due, due, due to like body proportion as well. Exactly. Like, you know what so I mean? like, like, her, like her body to compare to mine is, is probably so different. So yeah. like for me to find a fit like that is maybe a little bit harder because I've got a lot of junk in the trunk at times. <laughs> so I've been searching for the pant. I have bought, honestly, swear to God, three different pairs of pants that I've had to return because they weren't the right fit. Damn. It's so, it's it, it's killing me. But You're an online shopper too, eh? That's yeah. the worst part. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping that these pants from Porter James are going to be the pants and I would finally found them to be fair though like your partner has worn them and he's like quite like a boxy dude like i'm sure that i'm sure the effort fits him will fit you oh no i think it will it's just like because they're like kind of like more like unisex pants like Mm. i I think they'll get the fit but i just wanted them to stack a little at the bottom i want them to be nice and wide leg but like throughout the whole pan i don't want it to be, but I want it to be covered hey, on the waist, you know? You go. Oi. I just want it to stack at the bottom. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I like, oi, I like clothes and shit Hey, now. shout out Big Cozy, man. Yeah. That's my guy. Oh, uh, well, and do you want to hear something embarrassing that happened to me at that pop-up, though? What? So they had a real fruit ice cream there. Amazing. Hey, shout free. out to Jono. That's my guy. As, yeah. Oh, so yummy. I had the mango. Anyways, I'm like yarning to this girl there. I think her name's Grace, and um, she part owns Alfred's apartment. So nice. Mm-hmm. I'm like yelling to her, having this good audio. How about while I'm yelling to her, I'm like licking my ice cream. <laughs> and I didn't know, Randy, the ice cream had dripped down my whole front. <laughs> Oi, and she's so, she was so cool, so pretty, having the meanest yarn. And then everyone's running to go get me a napkin and stuff because like a child, I've just... <laughs> <laughs> No, but it's so embarrassing. <laughs> but obviously, I didn't care. I was just like, oh, fuck, oh, well. But like, it, but then I went home and it kept me up at night because that was so embarrassing. <laughs> to be fair, though, fuck, honestly, man, nothing is worse than like putting on a fit and then you like spill some food or like drink on it. Yeah. Like, it, lucky it didn't really leave a mark, but I was, I was well embarrassed. And I've been thinking about it. This happened about three days ago and I still can't stop thinking about it. <laughs> but it's okay. It's like, I told my mate it was impression, First impression. <laughs> <laughs> what a grubby she's bitch. A, yeah, she's, a, she's a hungry girl. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it was good. It was a good weekend. It was a good weekend. But Randy, we um, missed something that you had bought to yeah. last week so let's get into it eh? yeah because we were just yappy 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 last week I have a um, I saw this thing online and I actually want to get your opinion on this as well uh, T-Money um, if you're if you're listening to this brother he's our producer in the booth but um, I saw this post and it kind of made me think a little bit but it was what's the difference between a good guy and a nice guy and oh my god in I... terms in terms of uh, I guess like dating aspect and like seeing someone or like relationship mm. aspect because like good guy nice guy like in general obviously that's like easy to depict but like within okay. us that, that specific realm yep. of like you know you're maybe you're trying to see them or maybe you're talking to them yep. or in a relationship or stemming a relationship okay. what's the difference between a good guy and a nice guy because the post that I had saw said there was a very fine line mm-hmm and a lot of the comments were putting good guy above nice guy. 100%. Can I tell you what my clear difference that I've just thought of in my brain? Mm-hmm. Well, my own big brain. I did this on my own, okay? I'm brainy. So I think the difference between a good guy and a nice guy, both of them will do something for you, okay? But the nice guy wants something in return. Ooh. Okay? The good guy doesn't. He just does it. Because from the like, that's just how he's wired. He will just do things for people. Never expects anything in return. The nice guy is doing it because he wants something back. Like the nice guy saying, "Yeah, yeah, I'll I'll change your tire, but you want to go on a date?" You know, that's the nice guy. Mm. The good guy will just will will change the tire, but also tell you how to do it. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I reckon that's what it is. Well, what's your opinion on it, T Money? Like what would you what rather? What would you what rather be you? called? Yeah, what, what would you rather you? be called? I'd rather be called a good guy, but I don't think I'm a good guy. Are you thinking you're a nice At least guy? You're honest. Well, because I, I nice think guy. thinking about things I've done in the past, I've been like, I'll do it because maybe then I'll like, maybe get my way. <laughs> it's, a, it's a classic nice guy, right there. <laughs> I pay for a girl's parking because I thought that that would that would help. You get a route, and then it didn't work out. <laughs> you, did, you just did, out did, you really think, did you really think that you're going to get a route after paying a girl's parking? It was, it was Auckland City parking, man. That's expensive. <laughs> that shit is it's like so a handbag. <laughs> what are you? What are you? I think. I think. Uh, I think. Uh, I think I'm a bit of both, but I think. Honestly, as I've gotten older, mm. I think when I was younger, nice definitely, guy. definitely was a nice guy. Nice guy. Definitely was a nice guy. Yeah. But good guy, I think I've molded myself more into a good guy. Yeah. Only because, um, like I've gotten to a point where like I don't really people please anymore. So I'm doing yes. things because I want to do. I it. was just about to say you, Loki, 
I know how you're a nice guy because you low key used to be a people pleaser. Hey, and I'm not saying yeah, that yeah, in yeah. a in a way that's shitting on him because I used to be one too. <laughs> and then I learned how to decent to men from my life <laughs> and it changed me. But uh basically when I say that I mean as in like you're the kind of guy that like if someone comes venting to you You'll be that you'll unintentionally become the middleman because you're being nice to either party mm. and saying like, "Yep, I'll be your ear." And then what it, the position it has has ended up putting you in before is like where they're going, "Oh, why the fuck are you talking about me?" Yeah, to them? exactly. Why the fuck yeah, are you yeah, talking yeah, about yeah, me to yeah. them? And it's you're just like, oh, "I was just trying to be a good, like a nice guy to both of you." And because I've been in that situation like a, a few times now, yeah, it's now to the point where like. For example, if party A is like, hey, I need to talk to you about this person, and party B is like, hey, I want to talk to you about this person, I'm, like, like, nah. I'm just like, don't talk to me, man. So, so like, <laughs> just stay. I got love for both of you. Like, don't talk to me. Like, yeah. Because I'm not that, I don't want to be put in that situation anymore. Here's, you know, and when you're in a situation like that, here's, here's my thing. And what I would say is like, I'll, I'll like I can be an ear. There, there's times where I'll be like, if that's, if that's my best friend you want to talk about, I'll be like, oh, fuck off. I don't, I don't need to hear this. Like, sort it out yourself. But if it's one of those ones where they want to be an ear to you and you're friends with both party, you, they want you to be an ear either side, you just have to say, look, I'll, I'll be an ear, but it's not going to change my opinion. Oh, of the yeah, other 100%. You know yeah, what I mean? And yeah. if you can compartmentalize that, that's mean. But those other parties need to understand, like if you've given them that forewarning, like, and then maybe this is a, maybe this is a hot take, but if you've given them that forewarning that like, and they've said like, you know, you don't want to change the opinion of the other person, then that those other parties can't ever get mad that you're still friends with the other person. 100%. However, there's another layer to that, another side to that, where I think that, you know, you know, sometimes when someone comes to you and is like, hey, yeah, they came to me, they vented about you and were talking shit about you. And you're like, oh, okay. But you're not actually confident whether they had your back or not, <laughs> behind your back. And I think sometimes we need to realise that if you're, if someone's talking, telling you that someone else is talking smack about them, just take a minute and just maybe think, has that person created an environment where they're comfortable talking shit mm. about you? Or are these is, is that person actually having your back? Anyways, that's a bit of a rant, but I learned that one recently and I was like, oh, that's actually that's actually good. Just stop and think, is like, is this person hearing this information about you because they've like set up an environment where that person's comfortable talking shit about you, which may, would make that wow. friend kind of, you know, not a great mate? I don't know. Yeah. It's on growth. But uh, a bit of food for thought for you. Back to the um sorry, back to the, the nice guy, good the, guy. Yeah, nice guy, good guy. Yeah. Is it okay to be called both then? Because if, yeah, if, I think because I if think, we've got this, if we've got this image about good guy, nice guy, and nice guy, like you said, to who his, finishes last, the nice guy, the nice guy. But yeah. you know how you were saying, like, um, you know, nice guy will do it, but will want something in return. Blah 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 yeah. blah, blah. Good guy will just do it. Mm. Um, is it still okay to be called a nice guy then? Oh, I don't think there's anything wrong with being a nice guy, but you have to be careful with nice guys. <laughs> Why is that? Why do you say that? Because they want something in return. No, aside from aside from that factor what 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 are some nice guy traits that you've experienced maybe uh because i think for the fellas that are listening right now the fella do, now do you know what i think that would be the only thing i can think of is that the nice guy but there's just, nothing wrong with being nice yeah exactly i think i just, get just that like across. i just wonder just like make sure you're being nice because you want to be nice not because of the um reaction you're getting in return or not because of what you want other people to think of you mm. if you're being nice because you're just nice then you're sweet. That's why I think a good person's better because I feel like it's inherently in you. Mm. I wait, layers, 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 levels, levels, levels. Yeah, I just wanted to bring that up because I saw I was reading the comments and I was like, there was only a couple people that were putting nice guy above uh, above good guy. Yeah, but everyone essentially was like, we, we would rather the like they were pretty much saying like, nice guy is the is like a placeholder is temporary oh, whereas yeah, like, okay. yeah where's like a good guy is like that's for life forever Take home I'm a mar- yeah I'm yeah. A, I'm a marry this guy yeah. Yeah. and I when I saw it I was like and obviously it was mainly females that were that were commenting obviously say woman <laughs> woman sorry yeah woman, yeah. yeah woman um but yeah when I was reading I was like oh like because because mm. in the past and I, I feel like producer T money has can agree with this as well but being called both, right? Like you've been called a good guy, a nice guy. I kind of take both as like, fuck, I just been friend zone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, you get you get fucking bro zoned by everyone. That's yeah, no, but no, but do, do you know what? Do you know what's crack up? Do you know what's funny about that? And what? this sounds like a fucking lame ass excuse, but whatever. I'm gonna say it anyways. Yeah. Um, I put myself there, like unintentionally. Substance. Un- yeah, unintentionally, I put myself there because of my good guy characteristics, like. You also, I never, bro. Uh, you know what I suck at? I suck at making a move. 
I straight up suck at making. Have a you move. ever tried to make a move on like any of the girls I know? No. Oh, okay. Not that I know of. Mm. Nah. I've got one friend that you would though. Oh, there's probably a couple of friends that I wouldn't. To actually, be fair. actually, all of them. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, yeah, actually, I, actually, every single one. <laughs> so if there's anyone like, because I actually, it's not that like I care that much. Yeah. To be fair. Yeah. Um, but if you have any like tips and tricks on how like I could potentially get better at making, bro, T, this is I say this respectfully. T money's better at making a move than me. Wow, that was that was insulting. That was insulting. No, no, no you yeah, know what? Even T Money no, no, could do no, better no, than me. No, because nah, because bro, T Why, nah. What's wrong with this guy? No, T Money gets bitches. Like, sorry, sorry, sorry. I shouldn't use oh. that. I shouldn't use well, that term. Well, that kind of that kind of language is crazy. <laughs> no, T Money. Get, I but, definitely don't. Nah, but compared to like, you're sounding me, like we're he, ob- it's sounding like we're objects. <laughs> don't do that. I apologize. I actually yeah. shouldn't be using that word. Women, but, um, beautiful woman. Yeah, beautiful woman. T Money um, gets the attention of yeah, of no, women. No, but he like. He tries and does it He puts it himself out me. there hard out yeah, that's that's, yeah, You don't. I don't, yeah. I think you do. I struggle to be like that. I want to be like that. I think you I pretend don't. you do, but you actually don't. Yeah. Yeah. I, like, I'll, I'll talk, I'll yappa, yappa, yappa on here about, oh, do this, do that, blah, blah, blah. but I'll go out and you see me and I'm real fucking just shy. and I, Or not even not even just shy. You just, just like, go, hey, waities. <laughs> 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 Can I uh, get you a drink? <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's you know more so. Ones? I think it's more so just like um, in conversation. Like, let's just say you came up to me, right? Yeah. At the at the bar. I'm taken. What the fuck? No, <laughs> hypothetically, you came up to me. Um, my first instinct, just because I want to be nice, is to call you sis. Yeah. Yeah. That's just. I don't well, know why I do that. Own yourself. I don't know why I do that. And you are responsible for your own outcomes. Fuck! I need to get better okay. at like be move. be the the master of your own destiny. Is that what they say? You you can you can change it. You can change it. Person, and I think people are going to have a different like uh, opinion on this. Be the of, author of uh, your own story. <laughs> people are going to have an opinion on this, of course. But I feel like I'm better once I'm in the relationship. Okay. Once I'm in the relationship, I'm better. It's the getting to that. Okay, so once you're in a relationship, then you make a first move. No, no, as in like I'm like I'm just I'm more of like a I guess like enforcer. Oh, yeah. uh, oh my god, Ooh. <laughs> like you know what I mean? What's the opposite of submissive? What is that? Passive? No, no, it's the same. Dominant. Huh? Dominant. 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 He, he yeah. gets in the relationship and he says. Here, yeah, girl. <laughs> Throw them yams in a circle. <laughs> I just, yeah, I, I need to get better at it. I don't know. I just, yeah, I suck at making Look a movie. It's about confidence. Yeah, I just want to put it out there just in case, you know, so you can understand me a little bit better. Oh, my God. This is this podcast <laughs> is going to be him trying to find a new woman. Crazy. Um, I have a little something for you. I was trying to, okay, I need your help, okay? So we on our radio show the other day, uh, one of the boys came up with the top five best beers you can have, right? So they call about they're talking about the shower beer, the like um, after work beer, like the the all the best beers. Yeah. And I was like, okay, what if we did the top five best poos you can have? <laughs> oh, I got one at okay. the top of my head. Okay, so I need I need one more, but on the list so far, I've got the the turtle heading, but gets there just in time poo. You know, that's like a really like satisfying those. poo. I like those. I've got um, the scheduled poo. Like, and it comes right on time. You know what I mean? Like, you're like, okay, if I just get through this meeting, then I can yeah. go for a poo. And then it like it's time perfectly and you, no dramas. Um, I've got the first poo at your missus house. I'm never shy. I can poo yeah. anywhere, eh? Like, yeah. honest, that's what a toilet is for. Yeah. I mean, true, period. And then the one of the other ones is, I think this is the best poo, is the booze poos, which you wouldn't know because you don't drink. Yeah, I don't drink. But the booze poos is the best poo, right? Is there anyone? Cause that, so that's only four. Can we add one? Four to make a top five. Oh damn. I was gonna put a mine's more so an example, but it's an example of the turtle heading one. Okay. Um now nah, we there can is get more a, niche. We can get more niche. The reason why I like that one it's like the like you Oh no the the, the poo shy poo? The poo shy poo. Yeah, like as in like other oh, shy yeah, the poo shy. Like you, you have to wait until you get all the way home to oh, do a poo. And then, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I know heaps of people are like poo shy. Yeah. What about you, team money? You like you like poos? What oh, is I love a poo. Uh, <laughs> de- uh I'm lactose intolerant, so like the poo after like having some like pizza. Cheese. Because <laughs> yeah. yeah. you and know so, it's coming. Like, like wait, if I know, what if does I that feel like? <laughs> like having a poo? <laughs> like oh, the but is it like, oh, sorry to make this poo chat final, but is it like... Um, what do you mean? I literally said, what's the best poos? <laughs> it's, it's poo chat. It's what? 100% poo chat. Is it like runny or is it like hard? 
Uh, it's like it's it's bursts. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yuck. oh, like curry, like after eating a curry. Yeah, kind of. Or it's like upset, upset stomach. I like oh. when you've got a really like heavy, heavy like protein, like good diet for like a good week or so, and all your poos are ghost poos. Like you don't have what's to wipe. Go, what's a oh, like, dude? Do you not wipe after you? No, poo you sometimes? do. But as in, like oh. you go wipe and there's nothing there. Uh. It's a nice firm one. Yeah, I like the just the one and one and done. One and done. And people don't know this about me. I I swear to God, if there was a competition for the fastest pooer. Oh, this in guy, New Zealand, this, this guy, the 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 pace at which this guy poos is crazy. Like, honest to it God, just my, flies out of his my <laughs> my peas are longer than my poos. That's crazy. Like, so for example, just just to put it into perspective, right? Yeah. Like the shortest song that we have on my FM is just under two minutes, right? And you can poo in that. time? I can poo in less than that time, and make it back, and then do a voice break. No, how about? And I've done that before. How about I like I have to the only time I can I can go number twos during the show is if we have a pre-recorded interview and there's a space of about eight minutes. <laughs> That's the only time, and even then I'm pushing it <laughs> in more ways than one. Am I right? But you know that's the only time I can. Yeah, I, I, I don't. I don't, I don't like. I don't, for that long. I don't like pooing under pressure. That's on my top five least favorite poos. Under pressure. Pooing under pressure. Yeah, yeah. What about? Chuck in there, pooing your pants. <laughs> That's got to be the worst thing. Oh, okay. okay. I was like, is that on the best list or the worst? Okay. Yeah, obviously, I've never done that. But I pooed my pants at a blues game one time. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, what about... I remember no, it so wait, vividly. This wait. is the worst ever poo What story do you want to tell? Do you want to tell the story of how you pooed your pants at the blues game first? Or do you want to tell the story about how you pooed outside the mall? Oh, I got two. Okay, I got... See, okay, the poo, the, the poo outside the mall one is like, again, like I'm comfortable to poo anywhere. As long as and I've got something... You, where did you poo? Behind a rubbish bin. But as long outside as... Outside St. Luke's Mall, way. No, 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 Glenfield. <laughs> Glenfield car park, r- big rubbish bin. That's even worse. But like, as long as I've got something to wipe my bum, like, what I'm, did you have? I'm safe. A piece of refill paper or something. Because we're, we're outside a binge. This probably wasn't like. So you foraged the bin no, for no, something no, no, to wipe. No, 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 no. Like I didn't forage. It was the first thing I saw. And because <laughs> what yeah, was it? It was just like I think it was like a rations um, <laughs> jet packet. <laughs> what? Like just rations something, just, just something easy, you know, hard and fast. Just to did fucking... you turn it inside out or? Nah, I just. There's still some flavouring yeah, on the bottom. Eh? Yeah, just no, just yeah, quick, hard and fast one. And then once the more open, I went inside and I like I washed my bum. Okay. Yeah. With your hands? <laughs> <laughs> no, I what I oh, this is so descriptive. But I oh. wet the toilet paper. Oh no, okay, I don't want to know. I don't want to know that. And part. then I clean my bum like that. Okay. Yeah. If there was a bidet in there, unreal. Yeah, but we don't have those. We don't have those. Okay. Now okay. tell me how about you pooed your pants to the Yeah, This game. is the most vivid poo my pants story ever. And I've I think in my lifetime I've pooed my pants maybe three times. Okay. So, so okay. oh my god, I got two. I got two that I have just come to mind. So I'll explain the blues one, and then I'll explain my granddad's soap one. Okay, go. So first one was a blues game, and keep yeah. in mind I was maybe f- primary school, so yeah, okay. I would have been like seven or eight. Okay, went to a blues game, but mm-hmm. I went with my best friend at the time's family. Okay, okay? I needed to take a poo, so I went, went to the toilet, port um, back then, mm. and it was packed. It was packed, and I was doing my best to hold it as long as I could. I finally got to the front, <laughs> and then as I, it was like one of those ones where like I was like really panicking, so like I wasn't opening the door properly. Like I was trying to lock the door and shit. Yeah. And then by the time I locked the door, I just pooed my pants, pooed my pants right, and my Three Kings United soccer shorts, fucking just like try to clean off as much as I could, right. And this is like at the end of the game, and you're just you're just crying as well. I'm <laughs> crying, I'm crying in there, right? Like I just fucking smell like shit. And then I get, I leave, and then like my best friend sees it and is like, oh my god, like because my legs are just covered in like poo. <laughs> like I'm I'm like like wiping I'm like wiping my legs with like toilet paper, like doing the best I can, right? Doing the best I can. We had to run back to his family car, his family car. His mom has to pull a towel like out of the fucking boot, put it on the back seat, and I have to drive home for twenty minutes sitting there in silence, smelling like poo. I how, get home. How I, old were you? I was like seven or eight. Oh, you were going to say 17? <laughs> yeah, I was like, yeah. And like, I was like, oh, I was just sitting there. Not, wait, there was poo on your legs. Yeah, there's poo on my legs. Really? Like, like not like not like wet poo. Like I had tried to wipe it and it just like, you know, the smear. Smudged. Yeah, yeah, smudged. <laughs> and I was, the worst part is I was in like my best friend's at the time's car. Like that was the most embarrassing part was I, was, I had to ride home. Yeah. Smelling like shit <laughs> next to like him. And his brother 
and his two parents of his, his parents. Pua. And I made it home, and like I swear I didn't talk to him for like three weeks. Okay. And then like we like debunked it, like, bro, you're good. And I was like, yeah, sorry about that, man. I even apologized to the parents. Yeah. And but did, like, did just you tell anyone because, that bro, you like, do? bro, because like, imagine that you have to fucking now clean your car. Did you did you tell anyone that did he tell anyone that you pooed? Nah, nah, nah. Oh, he, he was a, a good guy. He's a good guy. He's like he's See, the man. guys, that's a good guy. He's the man. It's a good guy, not a nice guy. And then the second time Okay, we now said you poo pants. <laughs> was at my grandma's house. And hey, my grandma Honestly, anyone who is listening to this and going, This is fucking juvenile. Shut up. This is a funny story. Let us tell it. <laughs> the second time. Go. Okay. I was same same similar age. I don't think it was the same year, but maybe like a year after or something like that. It wasn't that far away. I didn't okay. know. Um and again it was in my freaking United soccer shorts. Oh what, they were Bro, I should have just threw them out, eh? Oh, those shorts are tapu, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey. So my grandparents, they had a dog, Georgie, yep. lovely dog. Um and because I would stay over in the school holidays and all my cousins would work, yeah. I would walk Georgie, right? Mm-hmm. Around the block. I walked Georgie further than I what I would normally walk Georgie mm-hmm. on this day. And then I got to a house. I, I got to a point. I was like, "Oh, okay, I can feel it. Yeah, I can feel it." I'm like maybe f- five to seven minutes away from my house, but it's one of those poos where it's like it needs to come out like right now. Yeah, gee. And so I killed more time because I thought it would be smart to knock on a door, like a random person's door, and ask them like, "Hey, can I use your bathroom?" And they obviously said no. So okay. like a nine year old boy, okay. right? Okay, this is a random child. I then like this start, random Filipino child. Too. I start running with the dog yeah. back to the house, but you know when you run, like it makes it worse. Yeah. So I get to the front door. It just is, bro. It's always like right there, right? At least it's right there. Mm-hmm. So I get to my grand, my grandma and granddad's front door, mm. and I just like poo my pants, bro. Like poo my pants, and my <laughs> my grandma starts laughing, <laughs> but she tells me to jump in the shower, mm. but like. I'm like getting so you, poo all over their floor. Oh, so you just like, like you just like waffle stomp it down. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like hard to fast, like, you know, I'm waddling to the bathroom. Oh I jump Lord. I jump in the shower, right? Yeah. I haven't told my grandfather to say, but my grandpa has like a bar of soap. Like Aww. and I was rinsing my body, obviously, but like obviously because there was quite a bit of like poo. Like I instead of grabbing the bar of soap and like rubbing it on my hands and then like washing my body. Used, no, I was just about, no, I just crazy. I just grabbed the bar of soap and like put it. Like, no, 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 like no, 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 no. And I put it back. Like, I rinsed it, but, like, I put it back. And, oh, man. Your grandpa the... used it on his face the next day. <laughs> I know he did. I know he, just he comes, did. He just comes, I just see him next time with, like, two fat boils. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, those are the two most vivid times I've pooed my pants. I think the only... I've never pooed my pants, okay? <laughs> it's such a crack up thing. A, it's such a crack Again, up thing if anyone's say. going, this is such a juvenile topic, shut up, just let us talk hey, about it's it. it's life, it happens, we're human beings. I've never pooed my pants, <laughs> but I have I have had, like, I've near, like, you know, leakage or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because like skitties, when, I, when I was like, yeah, well, we all know I get skitties. Like, I've fucking told that story 10 million times. You know, the one on my birthday when I got skitties? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. anyways, anyways. When I was younger, I would have been like 10. I still live in the islands in Tonga. Yeah, anyways, I was at the market on a Saturday. My cousins used to come over every, like, holiday, school holidays, because it's so cheap to come to Tonga. So all my, like, um, Pakeha cousins used to always come over mm-hmm. to Tonga. It was best. We're at the markets. I w- so before we even get to the markets, I wake up, and I'm, like, feeling queasy. I've got a queasy tummy. I'm telling my mum, oh, my tummy hurts. I'm queasy. And mum's like, ah. Oh. I'll get you a Sprite. So, like, gave me a Sprite to drink. That was her, like, you know. My mum my mum, my mum, and dad are both real, like, are you sure you're sick? You know, yeah. like, those ones. Anyways, uh, yeah, I had a quiz time. She gave me a Sprite. So, all I had had all morning was, I think I had, like, two cans of Sprite. We get to the markets. I'm feeling, like, no good. Like, queasy, nauseous, everything. And I remember just being, like, to mum, like, oh, I don't feel good. I don't feel good. And she was just like, what, like, what's wrong with you? You know, like, those vibes. <laughs> I, w- I had to run out of the market and I just like projectile vom everywhere. It's oh. just, but it's just clear because all I'd had was Sprite. Like my stomach was just emptying oh, I thought out. I you were going to say like I projectile vomited and poo came out. No, no, <laughs> that's weird. So that happened. And then my mum's like, oh, you okay, you okay. Gave me some water or whatever. And then I'm still like delirious. My mum doesn't take me home. We still go around the market. I fainted. <laughs> Okay, I wake up, all these Tongans are fanning me, you know. All like, these Tongans are fanning me. I was living in Tonga. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Ice, whatever. And do you know what my mum didn't do? She still didn't take me home. <laughs> she took me and my cousins to this like juice bar. And then I remember going um, to the toilet. And so I had, turns out I had like gastro or something. Yeah. So I was just like ill. And I went to the bathroom and I just about shit myself. Like it was, but it was just like leaking out. And I was like, mum, can we go home? I don't remember much else other than that. Honestly, I was so sick. I barely remember it. But I just know 
know that I can't believe my mum after, like, I fainted and I was projectile vomiting and she still didn't take me home. But you know what? Now I'm a hard, resilient woman. <laughs> so thanks, mum. Thanks, mum. What a, what a crazy story, though, eh? Like, you vomit and then you faint. And mum still, still takes Mom's me around like, the markets. Yeah, yeah. Crazy, yeah. But hey, like I said, hard, resilient woman. Woohoo! Thanks, mum. Okay, uh, do you want to do take a knee or therapy? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, I haven't actually pre-read these at all. They have been provided on the sheet for me. Okay. okay. So are you ready? Take a knee or therapy? I had a crush on this hot chick in high school. I used to sniff her chair after chemistry class <laughs> once all the students Sorry, left. It. it smelled like cocoa butter. Oh. Take a knee or therapy? Oh, it's definitely therapy. We, we, we've got a little little theme of sniffers. Yeah, it's, it's this, definitely uh, therapy because she, she shouldn't be sniffing chairs. But why does it smell like cocoa butter? No, nah, it was Did it say high school? Had a crush on a girl in high school? Yeah. It, oh, well, well, let's say tertiary education. Ah. Uh, <laughs> because we don't know how old any... Oh, no, it, it, it sounds like they were both the same age. Yeah. No, nah, but because I was, was going to say, you know girls in high school all used to wear mad lotion. You know, like there's nothing wrong with moisturizing. No, th- no, no, no. That's what I'm saying. That's yeah. probably why it smelled like that. Yeah, I love the. You know, I've got the bum bum one, the bum bum moisturizer. It's called bum bum. Is but it bum bum? It's spelled bum bum. bum. Oh, it's uh, bum we bum. we just say bum bum because we're all white. But like, I think it's pronounced meant to be pronounced bum bum. Or maybe I'm just sounding like an eat ass saying bum bum. <laughs> Have you got my bum bum? My bum bum. I, I think it's definitely therapy. Okay. Because you sh- did he say he sn- he sniffed it more than once? Yeah, like, he said uh, he used to sniff her chair after chemistry class. So it must have been after every chemistry class. When that's students crazy. Said. So that means that you, I'm going to say therapy. The, also, yeah, hard. Also, did the teacher just get? Is it, Sometimes it, well, it might have been lunch. Maybe uh, maybe they didn't okay. have changing timetables. Some schools don't. Oh, sniffing a chair after every chemistry class is clear. What if you're sitting on the opposite side of the room and your boys are like, let's go." Like let's you're go like, hold up, hold up, hold up. I'll, I'll meet you guys there and then just go. <laughs> <laughs> That's disgusting. Okay, therapy. Therapy, therapy. Okay, next one. Take a knee or therapy. I accidentally cracked the screen on my dad's Mahi laptop. I blamed it on my... Oh, no. We can't do this again. It says I blamed it on my special needs brother. We had one of these the other week. (laughs) Guys, you have to stop blaming things on our disabled whanau. (laughs) It's not fair on them. It's not fair on them. (laughs) Guys. This is the so second time we've had that on Take a Knee Therapy. Why don't kick a man down when you want to kick a man while he's down? <laughs> and it says he's in a wheelchair. It says, Get and your they, ass no, over it, here now. No, it says that uh, they, they said that he accidentally ran it over with the wheelchair. <laughs> That's not fair. That's not fair on our disabled brothers and sisters, okay? That's crazy. Yeah, it is crazy. I think I think. Have take, you been, have you been watching the Paralympics? Because it's funny. I think, you know what? Oh my God, do you know what's the. Fu- no, okay. Not no, the okay. Say, hey, we're gonna. I'm gonna say therapy for that one, but also I think you should go watch um, the Paralympics because you'll realize how incredible our para athletes are. You, have you guys been seeing the uh, Paralympic uh, TikTok? No, nah, the table tennis players. Which ones? It's literally one hit because they can't reach. So like, if you serve it, if they serve no, it, but there's different categories of like disability. Hey, do you know what I mean? Oh, so, yeah. like, I was watching sprinting the other day, and the sprinters had guides, and I just want to say fuck you to everyone that said that when, when I thought heard that a blind guy was the fastest Paralympian, I was thought he had a guide, and everyone was like, "Oh my god, no, he doesn't. He just runs." And I'm like, actually, some of them have guides. There's, but they're in different categories. So there, there'll be a category of sprinters that like. How does he know where he's going? He's like, got a guide. Oh, okay. He's got a guide. So they, there's a guy that runs with him. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So there's two people that run. The guide run with them. They attach with this little like rubber band thing on their hands. So they run next to each other. And then just toward the end, the guide lets the Paralympian go forward. No, is that, it's not, I've is been that not it cheating? all weekend. No, it's not. No, compared to like the others that don't have a guide. That's why they're in their own category. Uh, so the ones well, so the, where there's just 10 blind guys running against each other. No, there's, there's about four because they have to allow space for the guides. Oh, actually. okay. Oh, so it's four at a time. But then I also watched uh, some other sprints and there was a guy that I thought he like he, he didn't have a physical disabli- disability I to what I thought because there's some that run uh, and they might be amputees and so they have the blades because Hunter Woodall is one of those people. His wife uh, got the gold medal in long jump. Uh, in the normal Olympics, in the norm- not the normal Olympics, sorry, in the in the traditional Olympics, Paral- that was crazy. Oh my god! <laughs> Why did I say that? I didn't mean to say normal. I didn't mean to say that. <laughs> no, don't. Also, his last name's Whittle. 
What wood wood hall? Wood hall. Oh wood hall. I think I think mean like wood hall, like little like No. So he he has he's a double amputee and he runs with blades. Uh but that then would I, look cool ass. No, so so they all look so cool. But then I watched another race where I was saying I saw a guy and I didn't think he had a physical disability, but he's got cerebral palsy. So What's like that again? Sorry. cerebral palsy is uh is a condition, uh it affects your like muscles and stuff. Let me get a proper definition before yeah, sorry, I, I just, butcher I just, this shit yeah. up. Uh, it's a it says a congenital disorder of movement, muscle tone, or posture. So it can affect your posture, the way your muscles mm. grow. Some people can have it, and you, like some people can have it, and they're in a wheelchair. They're like wheelchair bound. But then there's others that have it that might just have like a, I don't know, maybe a slight limp or something yeah, yeah, like yeah. that, or just their muscles don't work the same. Mm. So there's different severities of it. Anyways, I'm still feeling really bad that I said normal. That's not, I was that's just not thinking right. like that's not right. This that's is really bad for me. Maybe, maybe, maybe depending on thing, cut this out, Troy. But what if we, what if we crack up? Don't say crack up. Delete. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. What it, what it, would it be like interesting? Nice to have the blind hundred meter sprinters run without their guides. No, because they, no, that's just a health and safety risk. What if they, what if they injure themselves really poorly? I also, I also want to know uh, what the. Um, the qualifications are to be a part of the Paralympics. Because like you said, like some people might be amputees, but what if you have yeah. like an amputated finger? You'd look like a dickhead, eh? If you just had like an amputated pinky and then you won the 100 okay. meter sprint. So it says here. <laughs> <laughs> like, be, like you know that, so that would be either, I see. This one says, the groupings of athletes by the degree of activity limitation resulting from their impairments are called sport classes. So it's all class different. This, to a certain extent, is similar to grouping athletes by age, gender, or weight. So that's how mm. Paralympians are, are put together. But um, I was also watching archery the other day with the Paralympians. Some of them have like one arm, and there was another guy doing archery with just his feet. He had no arms, and I was I've like, seen that before. I was like, that's so gangster! If you're going in with a bunch of guys that have arms and you're winning at archery, that's gangster. Do you reckon he? That's some gangster shit. Do you reckon um, that person sleeps in front of his door? With his feet archer, and if someone walks through the door that's not that he doesn't know, he just lets it go. He, well, I mean, okay, how unsafe is the area he's living in? <laughs> Hawkeye, you know what I'm saying the um, oh Hawkeye, <laughs> <laughs> or the what was the other one? I, oh, and I was watching some of the swimmers. So, um, you know, everyone that was swimming were amputees of some sort, whether they were missing one leg, two legs, one arm, two arms, and the person that the, in the heat that I watched. The person had no arms, just legs, and they were they were ripping everyone up. What like, mermaid vibes? Like honestly, but, oh my god, sorry, I shouldn't say that. Which made me realize, which made me realize that like maybe there was swimming. Like, I mean, I'm not a swimmer, but I didn't realize. I thought a lot of it would be arms, but I guess it's all legs, right? Yeah, well, yeah, hard. But you'd wow. be training, you'd be training your legs like crazy. But I was yeah. like, that is fucking impressive. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I was very impressed. Shout out to the Paralympics, man. Those yeah, no, I've been I've been loving watching the Paralympics because I haven't really sat down and watched it ever before like yeah. like all of it but I've been watching all the highlights the thing that gets mistaken is that they're athletes like you know what I mean like they've been doing this mm. so it's not like they're just chucking a whole bunch of like you know like the, like Paralymp like no, paraplegic they, oh, is, that, is that the word? No, 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 oh, not no. paraplegic. No, <laughs> Paralympians. Paralympians. Like, they're just checking a whole bunch of like. Para, it's not like they're just picking them at random. Like these guys are no, have been training be for training. years yeah. and years and years, as, as any athlete would. Yeah, yeah they're like, no they different. Would, they they're don't no think different. that you can outrun these blind dudes, man. They might just no, you dash can't. you. You can't. You can't. Anyways, okay. So for that one, we we're saying therapy yeah, for that therapy, one. Therapy. Okay, last one. Take a knee therapy. I fed homeless people with a stolen debit and credit card. Nah, let's take a knee. Let's take a knee. If you're feeding like yourself, if you're, you're feeding yourself, it's worse. I feel, yeah, I feel like maybe you've done something good in that karmic cycle. <laughs> like, you might have stolen someone's debit, but you fed someone who didn't have money to feed themselves. It's kind of like you felt bad. I think it's actually quite noble. Yeah, maybe you stole from a dickhead. Honourable. Yeah. Honourable. Yeah, maybe may, maybe uh, he cheated on his missus, the person whose card, card you stole. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, so I think I think take, take a knee, knee. take I think a knee, take a knee, and turn a blind oh, eye. No, nah, to be fair though, if you even if like, not that I condone it, but if you if you stole it and bought food for yourself, like honestly, because it's like, what are you stealing the card for then? Well, you're just gonna steal it to keep it in your wallet. Have like, you had your card? Have you ever had your card stolen? Nah, touch what I'd never do. But 
I've had like my details stolen, but not card. Um, but you get all the money back usually, usually if they can figure out where it went. But um, yeah, when uh, if my card got stolen, oi, watch out! I just open my app, freeze, <laughs> freeze. Yeah, my mum works card at the bank. Frozen. My mum works at the bank, so like that stuff is just like. And does she make you have two factor <laughs> authentication? <laughs> oh yeah. Th- yeah, authentication on everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the one. That's the one. Uh, don't mind me a card, eh? I just got me a, got me a wise card because I'm about to go travelling. What's a wise card? Wise card, it's like a uh, a card you can put different currency on. Oh, so cool. It's a lot easier. It's like a debit card. So yeah. rather than using your debit or credit overseas, yeah. you've got a card and it doesn't have like um, and conversion stuff. rates and yeah, stuff yeah. like that. So I'm very excited. Oh, that's yeah. cool. Yeah, yeah, it is cool. Well, guess what I'm doing next week? This is such a side chat. I'm going to the supercars over in Melbourne. Oh, uh, yes. You're for Red Bull, right? Vroom, baby. Yep. Shout out to Red Bull. Yes. Red very, Bull, we love you. Yeah, I do. Way. I'm a big fan of Red Bull. Big fucking fan of Red Bull. That's that's for sure. But anyway, Svano, that wraps up our episode for this week. Boop. We will catch you next week. Bye.